Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am teaching you how to customize and install your closure frontal lace units. Today I am working with a 4x4 closure, 20 inches of Malaysian straight, and I also have three bundles of 22 inch Malaysian straight in this unit as well. So the first thing that I like to do when I make my units is I like to find my part. So for this unit, I wanted it to be super sleek, I wanted a straight deep Kim K middle part so that's what I'm doing when I do my parting and I pluck my unit I'm making sure that I am only using a couple of strands at a time you can use tweezers I personally think that tweezers cause you to rip the lace easier so I like to take a rat tail comb and I'm going to go ahead and do a few strands and when I say a few I mean plucking one to two strands at a time to identify that part So now I'm just showing you that's the amount of hair that I've taken out of the parting and now I'm going to adjust my wig cap. I could have braided down my hair but I was super lazy for this video and just plopped a wig cap on but it's still going to be super flat but it would have been flatter if I would have braided my hair but it's okay. Put a wig cap on, make sure your hair is flat as in the back you can see. It's no bulk, it's going all the way to the back of it and now I'm going to put on my holy grail, my newest favorite invention. This is called the wig grip. You can buy it on Amazon. I absolutely love this thing. You literally just put it on, put it on the adjustable straps. I like to put it close to my hairline. I know some people like to move it farther back, but I feel like it doesn't do the job when you do that. When you put it right on your hairline, I'm telling you, this wig is not going to go anywhere. You don't need any got to be glued. You don't need any adjustable straps or any type of elastic band method. It literally just works by itself. So I absolutely love this. I totally recommend it. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and show you this unit. You can see how nice the parting looks right there and then I'm just going to throw that wig on now don't be scared when you first throw your wig on it's going to look funny make sure you pull it back I'm just going to pull it back on the wig grip adjust the parting and also adjust the wig make sure that it's as flat as possible So now that we have adjusted the wig, I'm now going to move the hair back and clip it with some alligator clips. And I'm going to take some very small sharp scissors and cut the lace. I like closures a lot more because it's a lot easier to cut lace than a frontal. You don't really have to worry about the hairline, but make sure that you take your time when you are cutting the lace because you do not want a jacked up hairline for your wig to sit. So I'm just cutting this lace off and then I will be back to style. So I just wanted to show you guys that when I try to pull this wig off, it is not coming off. I mean, I am yanking it. My mom even tried to yank it for fun to see if it would come off and it did not. So make sure you go get that wig grip. This is not sponsored. It's just a really great product. So now that I have the wig that I like it, the lace is cut, I'm going to trim the hair. Now you don't have to do this. If you like to reuse your bundles, I don't suggest cutting them. However, I'm just making this unit. I really like a blunt cut on my units and how I like my hair. So I am just going to be trimming that and doing that to both sides. And then I'm also going to be trimming layers in the front of my face for two reasons. One, I like the layers in the front of my face to frame my face. And two, since the closure is 20 inches and the bundles are 22 inches, I do not want a line of demarcation I want everything to blend seamlessly so I'm just giving a quick haircut So 
So now that I'm done with that, I'm just going in back in with the parting to see if I missed any strands that need to be taken out and I'm going to remove those. The last step that I'm going to be doing is taking some spritz. You can get spritz from your beauty supply store. I am putting it in my hands. Do not spray this directly onto your wig or your wig and your hair will be crunchy. Spray it in your hands, put it on the top of your wig and then take a wand curler. Make sure it's super hot and then this is going to magically flatten the hell out of your wig, okay? So go ahead and do that and then you're gonna take an edge scarf. You can buy an edge scarf at your local beauty supply store. This is specifically just for your edges but it works amazing for laying the parting down of your wigs. I'm gonna tie that scarf down and then I'm going to leave that on for a couple of minutes while I just kind of clean up and then I will be back to show you the final result. Okay, and this is the final result. So taking this off and brushing it out, you see how flat it is. I absolutely love how this unit turned out. I really hope that this helped you guys learn how to customize and install a unit, which can apply for a lace or a closure unit. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you guys like frontals better or closures better. Personally, I'm team closure. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. All right, bye.